there's a mysterious long cloud on Mars that has formed so many times over the same Martian volcano. Scientists have even given it a name. Meet the Arjamans elongated cloud, AMEC. The cloud often appears over the 20 kilometer high Arjamans volcano. The cloud is made up of water ice, but despite appearances, it is not a plume linked to volcanic activity. Instead, the curious stream forms as airflow is influenced by the volcano's leeward slope, the side that does not face the wind. The Arjamans is the southernmost of three volcanoes, collectively known as Tharsis Montes, on the Tharsis bulge near the equator of the red planet. To its north is Pavanis Mons, and north of that is Ascraeus Mons. The tallest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, is to its northwest. Puzzlingly, Arja Mons is the only low-latitude location on Mars where clouds are seen, and the only one of numerous similar volcanoes in the region to possess such a veil of cloud at this time of year. What's interesting about the Arja Mons elongated cloud, however, is that it doesn't just appear, stick around for a while, then dissipate. Rather, the cloud forms and fades over the course of a few hours each local morning, then returns the next day. Even though the cloud is relatively difficult to study from orbit, the Mars Express has done so. These images of the cloud were taken on the 17th and 19th of July by the Visual Monitoring Camera, VMC, on Mars Express which has been studying Mars from orbit for the past 16 years. The camera's original purpose was to confirm that the mission's Beagle 2 lander had separated from the Mars Express orbiter, after which it was switched off. Several years later, the camera was reactivated and used to gather images of Mars for public engagement and outreach activities, but remained unused for scientific research but the mission team recently reclassified the camera for scientific research. The Mars Express mission launched in 2003, and thus the camera's resolution is similar to a computer's webcam from 2003. But this camera had other advantages that let scientists monitor the cloud's movements. While most spacecraft in orbit around the red planet tend to observe in the afternoon, Mars Express is in a privileged position to gather and provide crucial information on this unique effect. In a new study, astronomers used both the VMC observations and data from other Mars Express instruments in addition to data from other missions, including NASA's Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution, MAVEN, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, the Viking 2 missions, and the Indian Space Research Organization's Mars Orbiter Mission, MOM. The data revealed that, at its largest, the cloud measures out to be about 1,800 kilometers, 1,118 miles long, and 150 kilometers across. The findings also revealed that the cloud is the biggest orographic cloud ever seen on Mars meaning that it forms as a result of wind being forced upwards by topographic features, such as mountains or volcanoes on a planetary surface. In this case, Arja Mons perturbs the Martian atmosphere to trigger the formation of the cloud. Moist air is then driven up the flanks of the volcano in updrafts, later condensing at higher and far cooler altitudes. The cloud is also highly dynamic, forming before sunrise, then expanding rapidly for two and a half hours. Studies found that it can grow at a mind-blowing speed of over 600 kilometers per hour before it stops expanding. It then detaches from where it formed and is pulled further westward still by high altitude winds before evaporating in the late morning as air temperatures increase with the rising sun. Here on Earth, we have never seen such big and dynamic clouds, making the Arjamans elongated cloud especially strange. By the way, spacecraft images of the white cloud have been captured before. In the 1970s, 
Viking 2 caught the first images of a cloud in this region of Mars. However, the new study enables researchers to more easily target and observe the cloud. According to scientists, understanding this cloud gives us the exciting opportunity to try to replicate the cloud's formation with models. Models that will improve our knowledge of climatic systems on both Mars and Earth. A link to the study is included down in the description box. And as usual, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified for upcoming videos.